Hi, my name is Richard Duffy. I'm the SAP Business One Product Evangelist. On behalf of the entire SAP team, I'd like to thank you for taking time to view this on-demand webinar. In this session, I'm going to take you through our SAP Business One solution. We're going to talk about version 8.8, .8, which is the latest release of SAP Business One, which, as you may be aware, is our solution for small and mid-sized enterprises. With version 8.8, .8, we believe we've taken some significant steps to make this version refined, simplified, and faster. So let's go ahead and look at exactly what we've done. Our focus in developing SAP Business One 8.8 .8 has really been on six key areas. Ease of use, making the solution even easier for you to use. Uh, the business processes that SAP Business One addresses, enhancing and expanding those business processes. We focused a lot on the integration of Crystal Reports and the embedded analytics as part of the SAP Crystal Solutions. Also, we've taken the, the feedback that we received from our more than 25,000 customers and more than 1,400 partners around the world about what we needed to do with the solution, and we've taken that feedback and we've used that to build enhancements to the system's architecture and performance. We also looked at what were the things that we could do to speed up the implementation and also make the maintenance processes with SAP Business One much easier. And of course, we spent a lot of time thinking about how we could make it even easier for our customers to develop integrations to other solutions and of course, how they could use SAP Business One to foster even better collaboration, not only inside their organizations, but with external organizations, with their suppliers, other people in their ecosystem, or for those customers using SAP Business One 8.8 .8 who um, have a head office that is using our SAP Business Suite, how they could further integrate the two solutions. The result of that focus, we believe, has really been delivering a solution which helps you to uh, experience higher productivity, which will help to lower the total cost of ownership, and of course, will be a solution that's more fun to work with. Now, the great part about SAP Business One 8.8 .8 is that for any of our customers who are currently on maintenance, they're automatically entitled to uh, receive this new release. But we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go. So how does SAP Business One benefit you and the six focus areas, what does that really mean for you? Well in our focus on ease of use, we've really tried to deliver you higher productivity. With a fantastic new user interface that's a lot more fun and a lot more pleasant to use, uh, we believe that we will help your uh, users utilize the solution uh, and really enjoy using the solution much more. Also with the enhancements that we've made to the user interface and some of the integrations, you will find that your productivity will uh, receive a boost, particularly when you look at some of the things around what we've done with integration with the Microsoft Office suite of uh, products. Also, we spent a lot of time looking at uh, how we could enhance the way that the system uh, interacts with your users. We've introduced new intuitive system messages and the new uh, level of troubleshooting assistance that's available in the solution. From a business process perspective, what this was really about was delivering you enhanced business control. This comes down to the specific functionality in the software. Functionality like the ability to generate negative invoices, enhancements in the area of down payments, units of measure, more flexibility around control accounts, the introduction of additional available to promise functionality in the logistics area of SAP Business One, and enhancements to uh, key accounting areas like the aging report. As part of SAP and business objects coming together a number of years ago, we decided it was time that we should look at really integrating SAP Business One together with the Crystal Report solution. So we're delivering simplified reporting. So we're taking advantage of the full integration available with, to us now uh, with industry leading um, reporting. And that industry leading reporting is based on Crystal Reports. It's easy to use, easy to implement, and more importantly, easy to manage. The system architecture and performance, we focused on delivering uh, a release with a faster system performance. We have provided a unified code base 
So for those of you familiar with the SAP Business One, we used to talk about you know SAP Business One A, B, and C clusters. That is now gone. You now have a single code base that covers the more than 40 countries where SAP Business One has been localized and uh, is deployed. We've also made some application performance improvements and importantly we've introduced a new data archiving tool which will help you handle even greater volumes of information. From an implementation and maintenance perspective we focused on lowering your total cost of ownership, introducing new innovations like the remote support platform, the upgrade wizard and enhancing the software development kit. And of course we're delivering increased connectivity when we focused on integration and collaboration we've looked very very extensively uh, at uh, enhancing the out-of-the-box scenarios within the SAP portfolio we're providing a tool to connect extend and complete your solution we'll talk a little bit more about that again as we go through so we've been in ramp up for SAP Business One 8.8 .8 for quite a number of months and the purpose behind ramp up is to give uh, our customers and our partners the opportunity to experience the 8.8 .8 release, get their feedback, do some fine tuning and really get that solution ready to take it out so that the rest of our more than 25,000 customers around the world can take advantage of this new functionality uh, and these enhancements. And you can see here the comments from a, a number of our customers, you know, talking about the advantages of the new version, you know, and, and it gets down to very, very specific functionality that different organizations like, you know, for example, the ability to create negative invoices. Uh, the ability to uh, further utilize SAP Business One 8.8 .8 in, in a wider context in an organization because of the significant improvements in performance that we've done. And of course, as you're thinking about moving across to SAP Business One 8.8, .8, the new upgrade wizard really reduces the amount of preparation and work that's required to uh, upgrade you across to this great new solution. So a lot of benefits there as a result of that focus that we talked about. And finally, of course, uh, we have a customer in India who've talked about you know, the user interface, uh, how it's much more relaxing to use, uh, it has a nice updated look, and they really love the integration of Crystal Reports and data archiving. So you can see, um, you, know, you don't just need to take my word for it, with SAP Business One 8.8, .8, we've really delivered a solution uh, which we certainly believe hits on many of the key areas that our customers and partners have been asking us to address. So let's go and look at it in more detail and let's look at this issue of higher productivity and ease of use. We've delivered a fresh new user interface and some of the enhancements there uh, include this user interface that has been based on extensive customer research. We've made it more rich in color, texture and dimensionality. We've improved the graphics and the images that we use as part of the solution. We've aligned the user interface with the other solutions in the SAP product portfolio, but we've still given you the ability to flexibly switch between the new user interface and the old user interface by deploying these user interface changes in what's called a skin. So you can quickly switch between those skins. So what's the benefit of this work? really gives you the ability to engage your users on a more emotional level due to the modern and attractive look. The solution looks newer, it looks better, and it performs better. So it's more usable and more fun to work with. Bottom line, we're delivering an improved user experience. Continuing on with the theme of uh, an enhanced uh, user experience and uh, enhanced ease of use, We've also done significant work with our system message handling and our online help. From an online help perspective, we've given you more context sensitive help topics. So that gives you much more uh, access to answers you need when you need them that are relevant to the screen that you're looking at. We've also provided a description of symptoms and solutions in the online help and provided task oriented resolution descriptions. The system message log, which is also now an integrated part of the user interface, not only helps you to understand what's going on in your system, but also gives us enhanced traceability of the message history. It provides you direct links to relevant help sections when a, an issue does uh, pop up in the solution. 
and the message text which we provide has been significantly improved. What does this mean to you? This really gives you the ability to troubleshoot the solution much faster through self-support. So then let's look at the business processes and some of the things that we've done there around enhancing the business control. We've incorporated the support for negative totals in accounts payable and accounts receivable documents. What do I mean by that? Now in an accounts receivable invoice or an accounts payable invoice, you can incorporate a negative line. The example we've got here for, uh, uh, to show you is a situation where I may be returning empty bottles at the same time as I am uh, buying additional product. Doesn't even necessarily need to be the same product in this scenario. We're actually returning uh, empty bottles. We're returning an empty crate. And what we're doing at the same time is we're buying some additional water. So the returned items go through as negatives the new purchase goes through as a positive with the net effect in this example being uh, a negative. Now a negative invoice as you're aware is fundamentally a credit note so you can see that that negative um, total support in these documents really uh, gives you the ability to um, streamline your accounting processes. There's no need for creating additional credit notes for example for negative amounts. So this is really about simplifying your accounting processes. Now this is a great time to point out to you that you need to um, double check uh, whether or not some of these functions have been enabled for uh, your localization and whether or not those functions are actually part of your legal requirements. Give you an example, uh, negative lines in the solution is enabled globally. Uh, however, um, negative totals are not supported in uh, countries like Israel, Mexico, Chile, Costa Rica, Guatemala and Panama. Why? Because they fall outside the scope of those countries local legal requirements. What else have we done? When we look at the business logic improvements that we've made, we've done further enhancements in the pick and pack functionality. The ability during the pick and pro pack process to allow your quantity to fall into negative inventory if you require it. What we're also doing now is incorporating credit limit checks during the pick and pack process. Again, if you wish that to occur. We've streamlined the handling of serial and batch numbers and we've also uh, done some enhancements to allow the handling of batches across multiple warehouses as, as one object, which is really about delivering you more flexibility to operate the way you want. The next area which we've done a lot of work is really around simplifying the reporting by taking advantage of the Crystal Reports functionality that's available to us now as part of our uh, SAP portfolio for small and mid-sized enterprises. What have we done here? Well, we've incorporated Crystal Reports directly inside the SAP solution. We've provided a variety of layouts and graphical presentation options. We've improved the design capabilities as a result of this. We've got user-friendly preview options like the magnifier, page browsing, giving the ability to have multiple preview windows. And we've also enhanced the interactive nature of reporting, which gives you the ability to do drill downs. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. So what's the benefit to you here? Faster information access and analysis, which is really delivered as a result of simplifying your reporting. Uh, and providing you an easy tool to design your layouts and reports. And you can incorporate the usage of templates, for example, to completely match your corporate identity. Then when we look at the interactive reporting analysis in more detail, some of the enhancements include the ability to zoom in and out on your reports. Once you're in a report, to find text inside the report. And then to directly link uh, from your reports to SAP Business One. So when you're in a report and you have information inside that report you're looking at, you'll f be familiar with the concept of our golden arrows inside SAP Business One which give you the ability to drill down to the underlying information. That functionality is also incorporated now into Crystal Reports. So you can drill down from your Crystal Reports directly into the relevant screens in SAP Business One and drill down directly into that data. In addition to that, we've also incorporated on-report sorting, filtering and reformatting without return tripping to the database. What does that mean to you? Well, 
depending on how you design your reports, you can actually incorporate the storage of the underlying data into the report. So when you want to resort, refilter, change parameters in those reports, it, the system then does not have to go back to the database and reselect that data. What does that mean? Means it's faster. Uh, you also then have increased transparency as a result of this drill down capability. And of course, built into Crystal Reports, there's the ability to export to many different formats. So that will give you a lot easier export and a lot easier capability to share your data with other people, other organizations that you choose to share that information with. Bottom line, what this is really about is delivering you better control of your business. The report and layout management has got a number of significant enhancements as well. For those of you who've been using SAP Business One for quite some time, you'll be familiar with the print layout designer. We're giving you the ability now to continue to utilize the print layout designer as well as Crystal Reports. So you can choose to use the legacy library of print layout designer reports that you may have whilst building new reports utilizing Crystal Reports. We're also providing the easy import of Crystal Reports layouts and reports provided by other sources. What do I mean by that? For example, let's say you've asked your partner to build a series of reports for you. Or perhaps they're working with other organizations similar to yours and they've built reports for those organizations. Well, built into the SAP Business One solution is now the ability to export out those Crystal Reports layouts and quickly and easily import them into a new system thereby reducing the need to, to redo work. We've also got the concept of master layouts, which can be used to generate the layouts for different types of marketing documents and make it very, very quick and easy to develop multiple versions of a document. For example, let's say you might want to have different layouts for your invoice depending on which customer you're sending it to. Well, with those master layouts, that whole process is much faster, much easier, much smoother. We're also providing you one free Crystal Reports designer license as part of your SAP Business One solution. That means you have the ability to go ahead and design and manage your own report layouts. The benefits of this, you'll spend less time on managing reports and this is really facilitated through this functionality but we're also making sure that we deliver the continued support of the print layout designer whilst you transition to Crystal Reports. Crystal Reports is the industry standard. That means there'll be more skilled people available to you to help you and work with you on your reporting. And because of this uh, utilization of standard reports, templates, and master layouts, and the import-export function, it really speeds up the rollout of your reports to multiple sites and companies. The next thing I'd like to talk to you about uh, with our Crystal Reports integration is what we call print sequencing. What this is about is really giving you the ability to print different types of marketing documents with different layouts on different printers in one single step. What, is, what do I mean by this? You can create, for example, a sequence, as you can see from the screenshot here, we'll call this our quick sales process. When I choose this print sequence, I get my sales invoice document, and in this example we're choosing, I get my invoice which goes to the bookkeeper on the color printer. I get my sales order confirmation which goes to the sales uh, printer on a black and white printer. I get my packing list and delivery note which automatically prints out to the warehouse, for example, on a black and white printer. And I get my address labels which go to my logistics team again in the warehouse on a black and white printer all from one print sequence. So that gives you the ability to really optimize your document printing flows. So let's now talk for a second about the system architecture and performance and some of the things that we've done to enable a faster system response. Part of our source code has been rewritten. What does this mean to you? What this delivers is increased robustness, stability and performance of the application for, for your users thanks to a lower complexity in our source code. It really enables quicker support delivery from SAP and our development partners where source code changes are required. And what we've done is we've introduced this concept of engines for things like serial and batch numbering, inventory valuation and gross profit functionality. So these new engines provide us a platform for future enhancements of the SAP Business One capabilities. 
more quickly and more easily than ever before. What does this mean? What does this deliver for you? It delivers increased robustness and increased stability. We've also moved to a single code base for all of our localizations. So for those of you I mentioned a little bit earlier who are familiar with this concept of A, uh, B and C clusters, we've really merged all of these clusters together. What does this mean? This really uh, helps to reduce the complexity of integrating offices around the world. We have a number of very large organizations who have deployed SAP Business One into all of their satellite operations. And for those companies, this will make the entire process of managing SAP Business One even easier. It delivers considerable savings in the deployment effort for installations in multiple locations. You're also able to now, for example, reduce the number of servers that you may have had to deploy in previous years because we now are delivering this single code base. It reduces the cost of supporting and maintaining the software. Timely fixes and upgrades can be delivered right across the solution now simultaneously. And of course, the same functionality, documentation and online help are available globally, which results in lower complexity and a lower total cost of ownership for multi-country landscapes. The other performance enhancements that we've done are really more under the hood you don't ever really come into contact with these on a day-to-day -day basis but you'll certainly see the impact of this enhancements made to the locking of data tables optimization of frequently used SQL queries the introduction of caching and what we call um, a statement pooling mechanism so you know what these things are really about is helping you utilize the system allowing the system to process more transactions more quickly. Give you some examples. Uh, some testing that we've done based on some benchmark tests done in the SAP labs. Five users working concurrently in sales and purchasing saw about an 80% efficiency improvement as a result of the faster system response. Adding marketing documents 20 to 50% faster. Running the balance sheet 80 to 90% faster. Copying from marketing documents, copying from a, uh, a quotation to a sales order, sales order to a delivery note, uh, delivery to an accounts receivable invoice, 20 to 40 percent faster, uh, depreciation of fixed assets, you know, 97 percent faster. And for those people who are using our software solution partner products with the solution developer kit retrieving data from cells using the new matrix in interface that many of our solution partners utilize is 80% faster. What does this mean? You'll be able to complete your tasks even faster than before. One of the things that I know many organizations have been asking us for is the data archiving capability. So what we're able to do is take a productive database, run the data archiving wizard, and then remove a transactional data from closed periods to um, then shrink down the productive database. So again, we remove the chain transactional data in closed financial periods. We give you the ability to simulate the process prior to execution to give you an estimation of what the benefit of go is going to be in terms of the database size reduction. And importantly, we create a copy of the current database so you always have access to that historical data. So you'll get improved utilization of your productive database, a leaner and faster system, and a lower total cost of ownership because you'll have faster and smaller backups, and then your upgrades will be faster, which leads to a lower maintenance effort. All in all, delivering you enhanced system performance and management. From an implementation and maintenance perspective, we're really focused on trying to lower the total cost of ownership. How have we done that? Well, the first tool that we've delivered is what we call the remote support platform. The remote support platform for SAP Business One is a tool that has been heavily automated that checks your system and database against operational best practices. So, Again, I've talked a couple of times about this with more than 25,000 customers around the world using an SAP Business One system. We have a very, very good understanding of what makes the system really hum, what makes it perform well, and what are the things to look out for um, that can be an indication of an impending issue. So the remote support platform allows you to run checks 
using that best practice as the baseline uh, and that way we make sure that your end-to-end -end business runs smoothly and effectively. Proactively identifying and preventing potential system issues, we're securing your day-to-day -day business operations and of course as a result of that reducing your IT support and maintenance costs which as you know uh, results in lower total cost of ownership. So the remote support platform gives your partner and SAP the ability to send health check queries to your system, gives the SAP Business One application the ability to collect information and report that back if you choose to to SAP and or your partner. That then gives us the ability if we determine that there is an issue or your partner determines there's an issue we can automatically send those fixes to heal any of those detected issues. And of course the key component with this if there are any issues identified we can then of course notify your partner as part of the process. Important point to note none of this happens without your approval to the process and of course any of that interaction is covered by the non-disclosure agreements that are an uh, in integral part of our end user license agreements. So what does this mean to you? It means a reduced IT dependency and a reduced maintenance cost. A couple of other areas, the upgrade wizard. When you are moving from version to version, when you are applying patches to SAP Business One, what we now have is a fully guided and automated update uh, and upgrade process that does a non-destructive database pre-upgrade readiness check and tells you if there's a problem and then more importantly gives you details about, about what that issue is. There's a batch driven database upgrade so you can now in a, in a batch controlled manner update all of your company databases simultaneously. We automatically back up your databases as part of the upgrade process. We automatically upgrade all of the software components and again as I mentioned we give you guidance to solve any issues if they're required. Benefit to you, faster and easier upgrade with shorter downtimes, the reduction of the upgrade complexity and the risks involved and at the same time when you combine this with the remote support platform for example we're really taking additional steps to ensure data integrity, preventing data loss and eliminating human mistakes. Again coming back to that same thing, reduction of IT support and maintenance costs but really delivering you simpler and safer upgrades. The accelerated implementation methodology that we have is really applicable for those organizations who are implementing SAP Business One for the very first time. However it's important to note not only have we developed the accelerated implementation methodology but we also have an accelerated upgrade process for SAP Business One. So as you're thinking about moving to 8.8, I would encourage you to speak with your partner about that mechanism, about that methodology and see whether or not that can be implemented for your organization. But the accelerated implementation methodology is really about making sure that we eliminate surprises and overruns in time or budget, giving you the ability to potentially go live in between two to eight weeks enables straightforward migrations and integration with fewer interruptions and lower stress for you and your users and gives you greater project transparency because we have a documented standard process that has been developed and tested on hundreds and hundreds of customer implementations around the world. For those of you who are actually utilizing the software development kit you may be doing your own internal development or you may be working with your partner to have additional functional extensions built for you for your SAP Business One solution. We've done a significant amount of work with our SDK to deliver a more powerful software developers kit for faster and easier deployment. We've built enhancements into our functionality, we've exposed out additional objects, increased the usability, enhanced the security inside the solution provided clearer system messages and of course increase the performance. Now if you're sitting there thinking well hang on what's an SDK? Uh, the SDK or the software development kit really allows programmers to easily interface other applications with SAP Business One at the database level so when data is needed to flow backwards and forwards between systems but also at the user interface level when you want to uh, 
um, have something which occurs in the user interface of SAP Business One to trigger something in an external solution. So again, a little uh, quick explanation of what the SDK is all about. The other thing we've also done, we've enhanced the way we work with our software solution partners to deliver additional and more robust proven industry solutions. There are now more than 70 SAP certified industry solutions across industries like automotive, high tech, professional services, retail, wholesale and distribution. We've worked really closely with these selected software solution partners to really develop some simple proven and affordable industry specific solutions and of course these have gone through a rigorous certification process by our SAP labs so you can be sure that the quality of those solutions and the quality of the integrations are second to none so it gives you really the ability to benefit further from proven solutions that are designed specifically for your industry we're almost at the end of our presentation, so bear with me a little bit longer because there's a couple more things that I'd like to talk with you about which aren't necessarily related to the software solution itself, but it's a critical area and it's certainly an area where many of our customers are deriving significant value. And that's in the area of broader community access. Maybe you've used it, maybe you haven't. If you haven't used it, I would encourage you to go out and uh, sign up for and participate in the SAP Community Network. The SAP Community Network is an online community site where existing customers, partners, consultants all get together to share information with SAP experts about the SAP Business One solution. The benefit of the SAP Community Network for you is that you get free access to knowledge and the expertise of thousands of active contributors. As you can see here, virtually 24 hours a day, you can go online, ask questions, ask questions about uh, system issues, ask questions about best practices, and get that feedback from thousands and thousands of people all across the world. You can ask those questions and often get answers within minutes. Meet, collaborate with others. Uh, there is a full text search capability so you can search through all the threads in the forums where people have talked about things before that might help you to identify a particular uh, answer that you might be looking for. You can download white papers, abstracts, templates, example codes, demonstrations that will help you more effectively use your SAP Business One solutions. You can access frequently asked questions, tips and tricks, uh, the SAP Business One wiki, blogs written by people such as myself uh, and other uh, SAP experts and also the great thing about this uh, the SAP community network it's available globally in English Spanish Portuguese Chinese and German what does this really deliver for you instant access to knowledge and best practices so I encourage you uh, go out and take advantage of what's there on the uh, on the SAP community network final point I want to talk about uh, is our increased connectivity where we focused on you know this area of integration and collaboration not only have we spent time thinking about how can we make it easier for you to integrate SAP Business One with other SAP systems but also being able to integrate SAP Business One with other ERP solutions and other business management applications so what we've done is we have a tool that's called the SAP Business One Integration for SAP NetWeaver. I know that's quite a mouthful. You might like to refer to it as B1ISN. And what it does is it allows seamless integration between local SAP Business One installations and central SAP Business Suite installations, as well as providing a platform for integrating to other solutions. We provide rich and proven out-of-the-box scenarios that will enable you to rapidly deploy this solution within a short time. The flexibility of the technology allows you to easily customize and extend what we're delivering in those out-of-box scenarios and build your own scenarios. And the great thing is it's built on an industry standard lightweight architecture which requires some skills but it requires a minimal skill set and of course reduces maintenance. What does this mean? It gives you a reliable and affordable integration solution for your entire ecosystem. If you are wanting to exchange business documents with other people, with trading partners, either your suppliers or your customers, 
again this integration layer in Business One version 8.8 .8 will really help you to facilitate that some of the out-of-the-box scenarios that we are providing with uh, the SAP portfolio are uh, for example intercompany purchasing where you have sales from central stock we have master data distribution of product master data distribution of customers where you're taking a central inventory list pushing out those changes taking a central customer list pushing out those changes as well as that also being able to automate the entire management reporting process but again we have additional sessions which talk specifically about what SAP's B1I SN solution can deliver for you I would encourage you um, jump onto the SAP community network and, and search for those some of those sessions are even uh, available through social media outlets like YouTube and so on and of course you can contact your SAP business one partner if you can't find what you're looking for and ask them and they'll be able to help you help point you in the right direction but again the focus here is on out-of-the-box integration helping deliver faster ROI so we're coming to the end of this presentation and you're probably thinking well all this sounds great so how do I get my hands on SAP Business One 8.8 .8? so we've been in ramp up since August 2009 for those organizations who've been, been participating in ramp up on behalf of everybody at SAP I'd like to say thank you uh, the ramp up process is actually now closed but the general availability of SAP Business One is planned for the end of April 2010 beginning of beginning of May so mark your calendar speak to your SAP Business One partner get on their calendar to start the upgrading process now you can start the pre-work involved in doing the upgrade now so again reach out to your SAP Business One partner you know get familiar with the solution do some searches out there on YouTube for example if you'd like to see specific demonstrations of that functionality just search for SAP Business One 8.8 .8 and you'll find a number of demonstrations of all of these new functional areas and so on and so forth so really it's about getting ready uh, to take advantage of that and if by chance you're watching this on-demand webinar and we're already in general availability then uh, I would encourage you jump straight on onto your partner and uh, and have a conversation with them about getting SAP Business One 8.8 .8 implemented into your organization on behalf of everyone at SAP I'd like to say thank you to you for taking time to to join us for this on-demand webinar your first port of call if you do have any questions should be your SAP Business One partner however if you would like to reach out to me my email address is richard.duffy at sap.com you can also find me out there um, on uh, the SAP community network uh, you can find me out there on YouTube out uh, through a variety of different social networking uh, channels I'd be more than happy to talk with you and, and, and help you understand how SAP Business One 8.8 .8 can really help your organization benefit again thank you for taking time to watch this presentation and we look forward to continuing to work with you as you deploy SAP Business One 8.8 .8. thank you